I'm confident, no, as I was then, that nothing of the sort will come about other than um, the former minister that we have already condemned and we have already said that we had nothing to do uh, with the Portico Agreement and I believe former minister, uh, the honorable member from Alberts, has already established that and, and reinforced that and the honorable senator, former minister, um, Perifit, uh, established that. Um, so I don't think that anything was on earth or there was any contradictions or there was any gotcha moment um, from my understanding. I don't know if you feel different. Sure, the Prime Minister said it would be a waste of taxpayers' dollars if he was to be summoned. If the, um, the PUP was to be summoned, yeah, do you sure share those same thoughts? Absolutely not. I, I don't believe in an open society with open government where we have to be held to account that this is a, a waste of time any more than the um, commission of inquiry was a waste of time. I believe that you know governments have a right um, to investigate and to inquire into matters that they um, deem uh, corrupt. Uh, and so in this particular instance, it is not the government, it is not the opposition, it is the stakeholders um, that came together and brought this motion to the Senate um, because they felt that something was so wrong from start to finish, their resolution, their motion was not to investigate the former minister. Their motion was to investigate the former minister up to the cabinet um, members. And the cabinet member that brought the paper to cabinet is the prime minister. So he is not above the law. If someone, no matter who, doesn't matter who, doesn't matter what political party they are from, anybody that is found um, liable of any type of corruption should be held to account, whether it's the prime minister, whether it's a former minister.